Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Rando Geek. Alright, so it looks like we have a big update here regarding Dish Wireless and T-Mobile. As we know, there's been some bitterness here between Dish and T-Mobile regarding the 800 megahertz. Dish was supposed to purchase the 800 megahertz a long while ago now. T-Mobile has been basically expressed their concerns with Dish. Uh, you know, they want them to just go ahead and buy it or not buy it. Either way, T-Mobile doesn't want to keep holding on to it. They feel they're losing a lot of money. Dish says they still want it. They just cannot afford it. They've asked for an extension a couple of times and they just got another one. I believe the extension is for about nine or 10 more months. They originally wanted a year. Uh, so the FCC gave them about nine or 10 more months. And what's happening here is T-Mobile not too happy about it, but Dish was basically saying it is what it is. You know, that nine to 10 months will be enough for us to get our money in order and then we can fully purchase the 800 megahertz and get on with it. So what Dish is doing is to kind of uh, soften the blow to T-Mobile uh, and try to make things right and also lock in the uh, the future purchase of the 800 megahertz. Dish is agreeing to pay 100 million to T-Mobile for the extension on the 800 megahertz purchase. All right, so the link is from Fierce Wireless. It'll be down below in the description for you. So according to this article here, Dish and T-Mobile have resolved their dispute over 800 megahertz spectrum. So with the, with Dish agreeing to pay 100 million now towards the spectrum in exchange for an extension to buy the spectrum fully. So Dish made a, a SEC filing yesterday afternoon. They're saying, saying the two companies entered into an amendment to their license purchase agreement, extending the date by which Dish may purchase the 800 megahertz spectrum to April 1st of 2024. So Dish and T-Mobile have an agreement whereby Dish said it would purchase all of T-Mobile's 800 megahertz spectrum licenses for approximately 3.59 billion by June of June 30th of 2023. So that agreement was part of the 2020 deal approved by the Department of Justice (DOJ) in order for T-Mobile to purchase Sprint and uh, of course allowing Dish to move forward as a fourth facilities based wireless care operator. However, Dish when Dish was scheduled to purchase the Spectrum this summer, it was not in good li a good liquidity position and asked for an extension. So presumably Dish will be on a better financial footing by April 1st of 2024, they're saying. So thanks to its planned merger with Echostar, a distribution agreement with Amazon and other device and distribution partnerships, uh, I'm just throwing this in there, as well as a massive tightening of the belt. Uh, this is not in the article, but we know that dish is is basically holding it down they are not they're tightening the belt they're not spending anything okay uh, according to them they're going to do their best to as basically to as spend as little money as possible and uh, that they're saying that alone should help them recoup a lot of money within a year's time or almost a year's time all right so according to the agreement the two parties reached this week Dish will make an upfront payment of 100 million to T-Mobile within the three business days from the date the U.S. District Court for the District of Columbia signs off on their agreement. So the 100 million upfront payment is fully credible against the purchase price in the event that Dish exercises its option to purchase the Spectrum from T-Mobile. T-Mobile also has the right to pursue an alternative offer, they're saying, between now and April 1st of 2024. However, Dish retains the first right to purchase the Spectrum before April 1st of 2024. So this agreement between the parties has already been approved by the Department of Justice. They're saying New Street Research Policy Analyst Blair Levin noted a couple of days ago that Dish, T-Mobile, and the DOJ filed a motion with the court in which the two adversarial parties essentially agree that Dish should get a seven-month extension to purchase the 800 megahertz Spectrum. So I'm sorry, it was seven months. Uh, I think they wanted, maybe it was they wanted 10 months or or uh, I think it was they wanted 10 months and they got seven months. So that, that was what it was. So Levin wrote, we are highly confident the court will take the deal as courts tend to do when all the parties agree. So there you have it guys. So an up, big update here. Uh, so at least it shows that Dish still very much has an interest in it. Obviously, uh, T-Mobile 
can have something to feel a little bit better about, right? That's a large sum of money to kind of lock it in to help offset some uh, fees or whatever they say that they're they're getting to to hold on to the spectrum. So that's I think that's good news. At least it's moving forward. Look, seven months, not that long. It'll come and go. Whether or not though, dish will be ready is another thing. So I, I mean, I really hope so. I really hope so. I mean, it looks like they kind of have a plan. They've been doing better. You know, with native being deployed more, this 800 megahertz is going to be a big help for them. They're going to be able to, you know, broaden the network a lot better. So we'll see, guys. You know, a lot of developing with this. This has been going on for a while, but this is some more concrete news. It shows basically a lock in for Dish that T Mobile will have to honor. So whether or not T-Mobile is going to ask for more money now, too, uh, I think so. Definitely. I, I don't think 100 million will be will be the price. I think I think T-Mobile is going to ask for more. They seem pretty bitter about this whole thing. After all, they never wanted to give it in the first place. Uh, it was part of the agreement of buying Sprint. So, you know, unfortunately, T-Mobile is just going to have to deal with it. Um, and Dish is just going to have to do their best to try to go ahead and pursue it as they originally agreed upon as well so both of these companies need to suck it up deal with it treat it like a true business get the deal done move forward you know you got to grow up so there you have it guys as always i want to thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching and i'll catch you in the next one bye for now